Good afternoon, everyone. Cases in Ontario continued at very high levels. Over 100,000 new cases were reported in Ontario during the last week, up 41% from the previous week. 828 new cases were reported in Grey Bruce, with an increase of 55% over last week. 41 new cases were reported in the town of the Blue Mountains during the week. Currently, there are 36 active cases in the Blue Mountains. As testing capacity has been exceeded, effective December 31st, 2021, PCR testing is only recommended for individuals if they are symptomatic, high-risk individuals, and for individuals who work in high-risk settings. As the criteria for testing has changed, the case numbers we quoted earlier are not directly comparable to earlier numbers. What is more relevant are the numbers of people hospitalized. The numbers of people hospitalized was up almost 100% with 2,279 people hospitalized as of yesterday. Numbers in ICU were up 56% and those on ventilators increased by 66%. Deaths also increased from an average of six to seven a day to 13 per day. Currently, there are six people hospitalized with COVID in Grey Bruce. In response to the alarming increase in COVID-19 hospitalizations, the Ontario government, in consultation with the Chief Medical Officer of Health, moved the province to the modified version of Step 2 of the Roadmap to Reopen, effective Wednesday, January 5th, for at least 21 days until January 26, 2022. This is all subject to trends in public health and health system indicators. The new measures include reducing social gathering limits to five people indoors and 10 people outdoors, limiting capacity at organized public events to five people indoors, requiring businesses and organizations to ensure that employees work remotely unless the nature of their work requires them to be on site. Retail settings, personal care services, shopping malls, Libraries are reduced to 50% capacity. Closing indoor dining at restaurants, bars, and other food or drink establishments. Outdoor dining with restrictions, takeout, drive through and delivery is permitted. Closing indoor sport and recreational fitness facilities, including gyms, except for athletes training for the Olympics and Paralympics, and selected professional and elite amateur sport leagues. In addition, all publicly funded and private schools will move to remote learning starting January 5th until at least January 17th, subject to public health trends and operational considerations. School buildings would be permitted to open for childcare operations, including emergency childcare to provide in-person instruction for students with special education needs who cannot be accommodated remotely and for staff who are unable to deliver quality instruction from home. During this period of remote learning, free emergency childcare will be provided for school-aged children of healthcare and other eligible frontline workers. In addition, on January 5th, the Chief Medical Officer of Health reinstated Directive 2 for hospitals and regulated health professionals, instructing hospitals to pause all non-emergency and non-urgent surgeries and procedures in order to preserve critical care and human resource capacity. In response to the return to modified step two, the town closed a number of municipal facilities until further notice. Facility closures include the town hall, Beaver Valley Community Center and Arena, Craigleaf Community Center and Ravenna Hall. During the facility closures, town staff continue to be available to assist residents over the phone and by email during regular business hours. In addition, various online services can be accessed 24 seven by visiting www.thebluemountains.ca forward slash online slash services. The town landfill and recycling depot will remain open for public use. Enhanced physical distances and capacity limits will be enforced to ensure the safety of staff and visitors. All visitors to the site are reminded that masks must be worn at all times. For more information, please visit the garbage and recycling webpage on the town website. Building division inspections will continue. However, all building permit inspections will require that the enclosed structures be vacant during the inspection. 
Please plan accordingly and ensure contractors are aware ahead of the scheduled inspection time. For more information, please visit the building department page on the town website. The Blue Mountains Public Library, LE Shore Branch, will be open for browsing, but patrons are asked to limit their time in the building. Computer access and study tables will remain available. All on-site programs have been canceled until regulations allow for gathering indoors. The Craigleith Heritage Depot is moving to curbside service as per the new regulations. The museum access is closed. Library materials will still be available through holds pickup. In addition, hours of service at both Craigleith Heritage Depot and the Blue Mountains Public Library LE Shore Branch have been adjusted to the following. LE Shore hours are Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and at the Craigleith Heritage Depot, hours are Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 12 to 5 p.m., Sunday, 12 to 4 p.m. Please check the Blue Mountains Public Library website for more information. The best protection from a serious case of COVID or death is still being fully vaccinated with two doses plus a booster shot. According to data from the province's science advisory table, protection provided by COVID-19 vaccines against infection by the coronavirus has waned dramatically since the highly infectious Omicron variant started spreading across Ontario. The data shows that while having two doses does still protect against severe illness and hospitalization among those who contract the virus, the ability to prevent infection has dropped to 15% from nearly 90% a month ago before the arrival of Omicron for people who have received at least two doses. It is therefore most important that you get your booster shot as soon as possible. Locally, the following vaccination clinics are scheduled over the coming weeks in the Blue Mountains. A complete schedule of planned clinics in all of Grey Bruce can be found on the Grey Bruce Health Unit website at www.publichealthgraybruce.on.ca. In addition, Dr. Tim Remiard is offering vaccinations at the Blue Mountains Community Health Center in Thornbury. All community members are welcome. Appointments can be made online by visiting patient.mediohealth.com booking forward slash Dr. T.G. Remiard. Vaccines are also being offered at the Thornbury Pharmacy to be placed on the appointment notification list. Please visit Thornbury Pharmacy dot dot ca dot schedule. Up-to-date information on all clinics in the Blue Mountains can be found on the tbmvaccine.ca website. With COVID raging through the community, all residents are urged to be careful as they go about their daily lives. Outdoor activities are a safe way to get out of the house, enjoy some fresh air and exercise. This year to provide additional recreational opportunities for its residents. The town is once again maintaining the Georgian Trail and trails at the Tomahawk Golf Course for both hiking and cross-country skiing. Have a great weekend and stay safe.